Dan, what's going on, brother? Hey, uh, checking in with you. Sorry I'm on my drive uh, to work, and I saw your message on Facebook. And, um, brother, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the circumstance, I don't know what the situation is. But, man, I just want you to know that, like, you are so important. Bro, you are so loved. Like, it's so hard to comprehend when whatever mountain is right in front of you right now that is just weighing on you that actually puts the thoughts into your life of you don't want to exist anymore. And I'm so sorry. And I want you to know I'm so thankful that you took the courage to post that on on my Facebook post, man. And um, I want you to know I am praying for you. I'm praying with you. Um, I don't know what your spiritual walk is. I don't know if you have a relationship with Christ or, or any type of faith or anything like that. But my belief is that there's a Lord and Savior that died for us, that put his only begotten son on a cross to carry all the shame, all the hurt, all the pain that we're supposed to carry. He put it on his son, Jesus, on the cross for us. So there's freedom in that. And that's not just a cheap thing of like, I can do whatever I want. No, there's an honoring, there's a, there's a, this just gratitude once you actually dive into a relationship with Jesus and what he says about you. So I'm going to take a few seconds just to pray with you, man, and just want you to know that you're loved. So dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this moment in time that Dan could have been doing anything else. And by technology, he was able to say, hey, I'm feeling down. So God, I'm praying that by your supernatural power that you remind Dan of exactly who he is, who you've called him to be. Your word says that you formed each of us in the womb before anyone ever set eyes on us perfectly. God, that you, your word says that you have called us for a mission, for a purpose that is greater than the things we can see right in front of us. His word also says, if we have hope of one mustard seed, we can tell that mountain to move from here to there. So whatever the mountain is that it's in front of you, Dan, I want you to know that it is movable, that there is a peace that surpasses all understanding and it's only found in Christ. It does not work. It's not drugs. It's not alcohol. It's not sex. It's not pornography. It's not working out until you're <laughs> until you're as ripped as you can be. There's a peace that surpasses all understanding, and it's in Christ. And so, God, I pray that you put it on Dan's heart to remember that he is so important, that he is loved. Dan, you are important, man. I don't know what you're going through, but I love you, man. God, we just pray for protection over his mind, over his family, over his surroundings. God walks some people into his life that can just grab onto him and let him know how loved he is. In Jesus' name, amen.